incumbent for the Royal Canadian Legion Professorship in Group Counseling and Trauma, Dr. Marla Buchanan. Thank you, Beth. So I want to thank you all for coming out today in support of these new recipients for these professorships. I'm very grateful to be uh, to receive this Royal Canadian Legion professorship today. Before I talk about my vision for the um, Centre for Group uh, Counseling and Trauma, I'd like to describe some of the projects that have recently have been funded by the Royal Canadian Legion. In 2011, Dr. Marvin Westwood was the first recipient and the founding member for the Center of Group Counseling and Trauma. Marvin spent over 20 years working with uh, veterans and offering training to clinicians and students in support of the needs of veterans. The Royal Canadian Legion made the decision to create the professorship to support the work of Marv and to support the development of something called the Veterans Transition Program and also the Center for Group Counseling and Trauma. This program assists veterans uh, who are struggling to transition back into civilian life. The bad news is that we lose more soldiers to suicide when they return home than we do in combat. To date, the Royal Canadian Legion has supported the delivery of this program to over 580 veterans, and we haven't lost one yet. So that's the good news. I want to show you a short clip of the Veterans Transition Program that we were able to take to Australia, Dr. Cool, Dr. Westwood, and myself. In the course of years I'll just ago, let you watch it first. It's opened up a new way of thinking about things, and it's I've got to meet some great guys that I have, now have the most uh, utmost respect for. It's helped us build bridges um, with our families, ex-partners, and with ourselves to deal with, um, you know, our emotional problems. I had been last night standing at an airport waiting for my luggage to come down. All the baggage was actually passing me by, and I couldn't find my baggage. I woke up with a smile on my face, and thinking that's very, very true. I don't know where my baggage is now. This course has helped me considerably to get rid of a lot. I don't seem to have that tension and stress that used to bottle me up. Um, I've had a huge release of emotions. Um, I know I'm not out of the woods yet, there's still a long way to go, but um, I've been given a bit more hope and a lot more optimism, optimism about the future, so um, I'm now keen to move forward and, and get on with my life. This film comes from a documentary film that we had while we were down there called The Difficult Return. But the VTP is not the only program funded by the Royal Canadian Legion. This is the Iron Soldier Project, a project in which Captain Trevor Green was a recipient of the Echo Skeleton. This was a project sponsored by the Royal Canadian Legion, SFU, Faculty of Medicine, which too bad it wasn't here, and the Innovation Boulevard. And Marv and I attended a celebration of this work. There he is, Doc, uh, Captain Green in his Echo Skeleton. It helps him to walk. He was um, hit on the head with a hatchet in Afghanistan and severely brain damaged. He couldn't walk, talk. He was basically a quadriplegic and couldn't speak. All of that has come back now. Another example is Cockrell House. This is a home that was purchased by the Royal Canadian Legion in Victoria, and they um, hired staff to support the needs of the veterans there. A final example that I'd like to show you is called Contact Upload, which is a theater production created by uh, an artist, Foster Eastman. Dr. Marvin Westwood is one of the producers. And George Beliveau directed and created this film. He's, he is going to be showing it on November 4th here at UBC. It, uh, it's, it's not a film, it's a theater production, if you would like to see it. So I'll show you a quick clip of that. So you're going to see a tribute pole at the very beginning. This was a, uh, built from two cat mahogany caskets that were put together, and they engraved the names of 180 veterans who lost their lives in Afghanistan onto this tribute pole. So this is the introduction to the theater production. And then you'll see a little uh, one of the segments of one of the stories. We had four veterans in this theater production who told their trauma stories and who got, uh, went through the Veterans Transition Program and came out the other side doing really quite well.
these are the soldiers here. I think I'll stop it there. So we were really fortunate. The Canadian High Commission has asked that the artworks produced from the Lest We Forget art project, plus the contact upload theatre production, will be displayed and performed in Canada House in the UK the 1st of November. The Dean's going, Marv's going, and the soldiers are going. Many representatives from Canada will be there. We're going to be meeting with centers of trauma in the UK and different universities. <coughs> and we'll be doing a presentation of the work that we've done through the VTP. We also might be doing some training. I'm not quite sure about that part. But if you wish to see this play, contact Bel George Bellavoe. It's being put on on November 4th. So now I want to turn to my vision. Basically, the, vision I f the research vision that I hold will be to continue with the veterans' research. I want to analyze current data that we've collected and continue to gather data on the efficacy of the veterans' transition program. I'm also going to be co co collaborating with the Center for Men's Health and Well-Being. Uh, we have a project that we're writing up right now on military suicide, which is a very big topic and there's very little research on it. I'm also going to be collaborating with the Canadian Institute for Military and Veteran Health, a consortium of over 35 universities dedicated to researching the needs of Canadian military personnel and their families. We'll also be developing a research project on intergenerational trauma. We're writing that up right now, looking at the effects of the cultural revolution on Chinese Canadian immigrants. We also plan to investigate uh, group counseling practices and group, group counseling research methods for children and adolescents who have experienced traumatic uh, stress. Finally, we're going to look at refugee trauma. Uh, we'd like to investigate the experience of recent refugees transitioning to Canada. Little is known about how, they, how we can help them, uh, especially if they've been traumatized, and how to assist them in their struggle at, through migration. So the overall vision for the professorship is fourfold. The first is research training of graduate students in trauma and research methods that would facilitate knowledge about trauma and investigating the best practices for research in this field. Training of graduate students and practitioners in individual and group based uh, approaches for trauma, for trauma repair. Creating international partnerships by inviting international scholars to join our advisory board and to invite international collaboration on research projects. And finally, a knowledge mobilization is a key aspect of my vision. Through arts-based delivery like you've just seen and through traditional research platforms, I'm committed to getting the knowledge out there to those who serve and have an interest in supporting veterans, refugees, children, and other populations affected by trauma. Finally, my last words are, lest we forget, please support the Poppy Fund, because that's how that all, this all happened. Thank you. Oh, any questions? We used to be working with uh, other organizations, like on the refugee and immigrant projects, like immigrant services. Yes. Mosaic. Yes, Mosaic, yeah. Rainbow Refugee, different organizations. We haven't even started that project yet. We haven't started any of this yet, actually. So, other questions for Marla? Just to acknowledge the uh, tribute poll, the carver and the drummer was from the, I think, the Salish Nation, and he was the uh, person who transferred the concept to a tribute poll in their heritage. Uh, when deaths occurred, they're honored back into the community, bringing oh. the community forward into life. That's and wonderful. To them and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Heard his drumming? Yes. That was so. great. Thank you, Mark. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>